enlisted sense is tingling, but that can only mean one thing. A general officer is dipping his dick in the Dairy Queen and fucking up the fun for everybody else. <laughs> did the Army. We did the Air Force. Now it's time for you, devil dogs. That's right, a Marine two-star general decided to step in some devil dog doo-doo. This time, it's Major General David Furness of the Second Marine Division. Woo! After walking around post and getting too many shitty hand salutes and watching young Marines walk around with a little bit of a long fade up top and a five o'clock shadow at 1645, that's 4.45 p.m. for you civilians. The relationship between a post and the post commander is a lot like that of your mom and your new stepdad, right? Mommy's been there for a while, never left you, Camp Lejeune. Here comes stepdaddy, Major General Furness, walking in with a, I don't know what your daddy used to let you do here, but I'm not gonna let that shit slide, mister. I'm gonna make some new rules for this house, and if you're under my roof, that's technically owned by your mom, you still gotta listen to me. And on top of that, I don't wanna see any more of those penises drawn up in the sky with your new wangle dangle aircraft, son. And stop calling me Dave. And maybe stepdaddy's right. Maybe every single one of the Marines at Camp Lejeune sucks. Maybe they've slackened off a bit and need their dick slammed in the toilet seat a couple times to pep up their step. Wham! Wham, wham, wham! But here's where the furnace went cold. He puts out a base-wide memo to God and everybody lower enlisted. But that's not a big deal, drill sergeant. Who gives a shit? He's the base commander. He's supposed to do that. Wait. He put out a memo where he planned out the daily regiment of every Marine and sailor on post to include waking up PT, shower time, lunch, final formation, and an allotted 15 minutes to fix and prep your uniform for the next day. Just what every Marine wanted. A guy 20 steps up the chain of command to tell you how to wipe your ass, brush your teeth, and blow dry your balls in the morning. Powder. The dude doesn't even know what MOS you are or what it entails to do in your day. But oh, he's gonna tell you how to live out your daily activity lifestyle. This guy has so little faith in every enlisted man and officer rank underneath them he has to hold him by the hand and lead him through the day's daily activities. He tells the company commander when to company command. I bet the next memo coming out of this guy's email chain is going to be a nice descriptive one about how all these marines and sailors can properly wipe his ass when he's done shitting on them. This general has had to have set the land speed record for how to completely undermine every single one of your subordinates on post. So much to the point that there's probably a line around the block to bang out his wife or daughter. Shit or son. Hell, all the family pets. If you piss off a marine enough, he'll bang anything into submission. Dogs, cats, livestock, machinery. This guy's so bad that even in the memo he throws a sergeant major and master chief under a bus by saying that if there are any dissenters, that he personally and his sergeant major and master chief will deal with them. I would pay money to listen to all of the voicemail messages on that sergeant major and master chief's phone that morning. Oh, they're gonna wake up and brush their teeth, eat their breakfast, do PT, shit shower shave, walk into the morning at ease, carry on, all right, sit down at my nice desk as sergeant mage, just chilling it. I see I have some voice messages. Beep. What the fuck, Sergeant Major? How the fuck am I supposed to lead my troops with some fucking general telling me when the one I can't have formation? One massive blob of three dozen Sergeant Majors just banging on your door and saying, what the fuck, John? I thought you said this was gonna be an easy transition. Now I've got every team leader and platoon leader up my ass because your dude doesn't think we can lead a formation! But on a serious note, I'd like to thank General Furness for assisting the United States Army on making all of its recruiting requirements. Nothing like a Marine NCO jumping on board the Army bandwagon. We'll let him get some more tattoos and grow out that beard. Go Special Forces, I don't give a damn. <laughs>